Hi and welcome to pmblounge.com. In our discussion of the report, the BMI report capturing the value of project management through knowledge transfer, we are today discussing the barriers to knowledge transfer. So of course there could be certain barriers, right? Uh, there could be something, uh, certain issues which may impede the knowledge transfer process, which may halt the knowledge transfer process altogether. So what are these? We'll take a look at it. We have a graph that is of course a part of the BMI report itself. Um, this report is available for free for everyone to download and I'll share the direct link to this report in the description below so you can go over you can download your own copy and read from it all copyrights acknowledged so let's take a look at barriers barriers to knowledge transfer and again we are just going over one graph uh, which is uh, from the survey that PMI would have conducted uh, as part of this report right so here's the graph let's take a look what are the primary barriers to effective knowledge transfer in your organization so what are these barriers select all that apply so that means organizations might have selected more than one option too many higher priorities right so 52 percent have said that knowledge transfer does not have the priority that ideally it should because in the in the other videos that we have seen there are the importance of knowledge transfer is immense right so knowledge transfer impacts the overall outcome of the project as well so but then not realizing this not recognizing the importance of uh, knowledge transfer organizations might have certain priorities certain other tasks that they may think are have higher priority than knowledge transfer itself so this is more than half right 52 percent organizations think they have other higher priorities than taking care of knowledge transfer insufficient recognition of the value of knowledge transfer so again this goes hand in hand with the higher priorities itself right so there is insufficient recognition the recognition is there that knowledge transfer does hold some value but that recognition is insufficient and 42 percent think that is the case of course the overall graph has uh, the total of this graph has in uh, basically exceeds 100 percent because organizations have selected more than one option here number three insufficient resources to implement a program so resources are not there 39 percent say that they don't have the resources to implement this program of knowledge transfer in one of our videos we do go over who owns uh, this uh, uh, process of knowledge transfer and it's uh, the the ownership is mostly in ha in the hands of pmo the project management office so it seems the resources are not there the organization suffering from this might take a look at the project management office and see if they have some resources who have the bandwidth to kind of uh, uh, work on the knowledge transfer process and administer it right point number four lack of personal rewards or recognition for use 33 percent so there's no rewards there is no recognition even if you're doing knowledge transfer it's well and good but nobody is there to reward it nobody is there to recognize it and it's an impediment right why would somebody want to do a thankless job everyone in their professional career want to be rewarded want to be recognized if that's not there nobody is going to take that up number five lack of support from senior management 29 percent now this is quite interesting in one of our previous videos we did go over um, some of the graphs wherein it was mentioned that even the c-level executives right the ceo himself or herself might be involved in the knowledge transfer process but at the same time we see that 29 percent of the organizations feel that they do not have the support from senior management 29 percent again no adverse consequences for non-use so if they do not do knowledge transfer there's no adverse consequences again if there are no adverse consequences who's going to take take up this task of knowledge transfer right 
23% feel supervisors fail to set good examples. That means supervisors themselves are not doing knowledge transfer correctly or not doing it uh, good enough so that these are the others, right? Those who report to those supervisors uh, do not have good examples to do knowledge transfer. 17% feel the procedures are complex, unwieldy, etc. 3% feel other and 6%, which is a good news, they say that they do not have any barriers in effective knowledge transfer. So that's the whole idea, that's the whole picture of what is stopping um, the organizations from doing knowledge transfer. And of course, the biggest reason is too many higher priorities. Number one and number two is insufficient recognition of the value of knowledge transfer again, which kind of mixes up with the first point. So that is all that we had in this video. Hope you liked it. Do subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. Check us out on our social media, facebook.com slash pmplounge and twitter.com slash pmplounge. And as always, do check out the website pmplounge.com, your number one free resource for PMP certification as well as project management industry information. Thank you.